We know that arrow functions work like this. Let's pay particular attention to the return value. So our add function returns a function. We can use parentheses for added clarity. The bolded text is the return value of our function add in other words out of some number returns a function calling code functions, so in order to use our code function, we have to call it a bit differently. This is because the first outer function call returns a second inner function. Only after we call the second function do we actually get the result. The handle change function is creating a function for a specified field. This is a handy React technique because you're required to set up your own listeners on each input in order to update your application state. By using the handle change function, we can eliminate all the duplicated code that would result in setting up change listeners for each field. Cool. One here I did not have to lexically bind this because the original add function does not use any context. So it is not important to preserve it in this case. Even more arrows. More than two arrow functions can be sequenced. If necessary, carried functions are capable of surprising things. Below we see dollar defined as a curried function with two parameters, yet at the call site. It appears as though we can supply any number of arguments. Currying is the abstraction of arity, partial application. Partial application is a related concept. It allows us to partially apply functions, similar to currying, except the function does not have to be defined in curried form. Here's a working demo of partial you can play within your own browser. 